got a video today today we are using the model ones i've got some mylar poly gels to swatch for you guys i hope you guys are going to be excited please excuse my appearance i work also so i'm oh, I'm, wait, I'm sorry anyways we're going to be showing some Mylar poly gels in this video today. I hope you guys are excited. I have several different ones to show you guys. Eventually, I'll be doing a mani with them for uh, fall and Christmas. So, I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. But anyways, let's get into this video. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. So, that way you can go check it out. You can also use my code down below in the description box. And save some money. And let's get started. Alright guys, so we've got five poly gels here that I'm excited to share with you guys. These are from Model Ones. Uh, this is their Mylar poly gel. I want to swatch these for you guys. But I have, uh, we have number 10, 11, 12, number 13, and number 14. You can purchase this kit from Model Ones. I'll have a link down below for you guys. You can also use my code, save some money. If you guys use that code, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate that from you guys. But I am so excited for these Mylar Poly Gels Go. If you guys have tried these or seen these, let me know what you guys think. If you like these, if you don't like these, if you've tried them out, what is your opinion about these Poly Gels? So let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to talk you guys too much uh, so you don't get bored. But here's my beautiful flexi finger that I just got. And I'm super excited to share this. Um, you can use slip solution if you have it. If you do not have slip solution, you can use base coat if you like. Me personally, I like to use alcohol. So I've got a, a dampened dish here that I'm going to be using to uh, pick up this poly gel. And I'm going to be using this here. And this is a the... 99% alcohol. I do also use 70% as well. Um, right now I just have this on my desk so I am going to be using that. So let's see. The first one here is number 10. Um, looks really pretty. Ooh, this is going to be so nice. You can use you can do so many things with this, guys. Like, oh my gosh. I'm, I love clear nails. I love mylar nails. Oh, so gorgeous. So anyways, anyways, I'm just going to take a small bead of this one. This one looks like it has, uh, it's got butterflies. It tells you what kind of mylar is in the poly gel. This one has butterflies. Now, um, do keep in mind that when you're dealing with glitter and poly gel, it is going to be a little bit stiffer. Sometimes the glitter may not lay flat, so you have to kind of keep working this poly gel until you get it to where you like. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I can... <laughs> oh my god, like look at that, how pretty. Oh my, so I'm just going to take a small bead like that. Now my room is a little cold, so I'm sure that's why the poly gel is a little stiffer, which I do like mine a little on the stiffer side, so it doesn't run in all in my cuticles, things like that. Everybody's I like both, don't get me wrong. I like softer poly gel, and I do like, I like the harder poly gel as well. I don't really have a preference, so it doesn't bother me. But I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to apply it. Now, the first thing that you want to do, if you're doing this on yourself, is that you do want to apply a base coat. I'm not going to be applying a base coat to these because where it's just on a regular nail here um, I'm just gonna you know review these for you guys but the hell, look at that color you want to make sure you spread it out it is going to be a little bit harder to keep it um, nice and neat because it does have glitter in it I feel like um, with most of them like that I'm going to start back here, and I'm, but I'm just going to start pushing it down and like trying to get it to pull itself up towards the cuticle. 
Now, you do want to make sure that you try to, you know, not fall into this glitter. If you can, like, maybe put a small, uh, just a little bit of clear on top, it'll probably keep you from falling into it. Um, so...
it's done cured and I'm just going to push it back, make sure it's all the way in there. I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol here and I'm going to wipe that inhibition layer off of that nail. Now, of course, it's a little rough because, like I said, it's got this glitter, so I can kind of feel the glitter through it. So, I'm going to take my file and I'm going to do this. I'm going to use the, um, the uh, smooth side of it, um, the 100 side, and I'm just going to go around the edge like this, go, go underneath. And then So this is what it looks like after being filed. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to dust it off. How pretty. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. Um. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that for at least 30 to 60 seconds. Alright guys, so that is what the butterfly one looks like. Super nice and that's so pretty. Ooh, that's super nice. Look at those butterflies. They're so pretty. I love it. It does have a lot of glitter in it. So, I feel like me personally, I would probably add a little bit of more of white or clear to it and like spread it out a little bit more that way. Or, like I said, you can do dual forms, which will work perfect for those because that way you can just apply it and be done. And that looks so pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Number 11, this one has the uh, stars in it.
once again, I'm just going to take my Model 1 top coat. And I'm just going to apply it to these. You always want to go underneath because with your clear nails, you want that to um, show through. So make sure that you're top coating underneath the nail. Alright, and that is beautiful. So let's go ahead and cure that. One is the stars, so pretty. I think it's gorgeous, I love that. That's the number 11. So let's go ahead and go on to the next one. Oh, this one has little hearts in it. Will be great for Valentine's and things like that. Um, I cannot wait to experiment some more with these um, poly gels. It's going to be so, so exciting to try these with different ideas. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take a bead here. Now, like I said, remember these are thick because they have... Um, glitter in them so they are going to be a little bit on the thick side like I am going to take a little bit more of that That one is the number 12 with the hearts, and it's so adorable. Now, guys, let me just say, if you want this to be more noticeable, like, just an idea, like, instead of using a base coat or something like that, I think I might try, like, a black base coat and then apply this on top. Or vice versa, like, you could put this down and then put a translucent black gel on top, or you could do... You could do any translucent color that you want, actually, and I guarantee those gels would probably show through, or those glitters would show through. But that one is gorgeous. I love those hearts. So pretty. All right, so this one is number 13, and this has the hexagon glitters in it. I'm excited to see this one, too. Now, this one is a little bit of a different shape now. Um than the other ones I was using. 
it's a little bit this one's a little bit longer than the other nails I was using so I just wanted to try them out in this finger to see if they would work these are also from the McCart um, these are the coffin nails from McCart so I wanted to give them a go So that one is the hexagon one and that one is number 13 super pretty oh wow look at that guys look how pretty that is oh I love it so much what do you guys think so far do you like them I do I really do like them I've got one more to swatch for you guys and this one is um, squares Number Now I'm actually going to take my spatula and I'm going to push this glitter around a little bit because it's bunched up right there in the middle. All right, and that is number 14. That is the squares. That one is super nice. Really, really like that one. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I did. All right, so that is all five of the poly gels. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay these tips here. Now these are 
I'm going to tell you what these are because I know it's a little hard to be able to differentiate which one's which because they kind of look like the same colors side by side. But this one is squares, number 14. And this one is the hearts that I did. This one was number 13. I don't know. Okay, so I know it. This one is number 14. That one is the squares. This one is the hearts. This one is number 12. The hearts is. And this one right here is the. Let's see. This is the hexagon shaped ones. This one is number 13. And then we have number 11 here, which is the stars. And then the last one that I have here is the butterflies. Now, just from my personal opinion, like I said, you know, me personally, I would invest in a um, clear poly gel to put over top of these. And you can apply these in a thinner layer and just apply more clear acrylic or you can mix clear acrylic in with it. Kind of loosen that glitter up. Um, nothing else. You can also use a builder gel if you like. You can use anything like that to, you know, try to thin out the glitters. Now some of these aren't that. Now the butterflies I feel like has a lot of glitters but it's beautiful guys. It really is beautiful. Like I love them all. Highly recommend that you get your hands on these because these will last you for a while, these will. Anyways, but let me know what you guys think. Do you like these? Do you think they're pretty? Do you think they are worth having? I absolutely do. Um, not because it's a PR package or anything like that. Because that I actually love to do crystal nails. I love to, uh, you know, things like that is something that I enjoy doing. But if you like those kind of things, then you will absolutely enjoy these five Model 1 Poly Gels. The link is down below, guys. Don't forget to click that link. Use my discount code. Get 10% uh, off of your order. But yeah. Anyways, guys, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's be best friends. Let's do nail art together. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get all my latest uploads. I am having a giveaway uh, this month for you guys. But this month is my birthday. I want to give back to you guys. So, what I'm going to do, which you've already heard, there's this giveaway for the Model 1's dip powders. Make sure to follow those rules. I'll have it linked up above for you so that way you can go and check it out would we'll love for you to subscribe to one other of my social medias whether it be instagram tiktok um one of those possibly the links are down below if you don't have those i totally understand you you know it's optional if you like to but we would highly you might i may give an extra point if you do subscribe to my um other social media You'll get an extra point and you could have an extra chance in winning the uh, Model 1's dip powder kit. Anyways, so like I said guys, go check this out. Don't forget, check out all my other videos. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!